Hey everyone, Don with Brazier Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video is about five-way selector switches. I've gotten a lot of uh, emails and questions regarding different wiring schemes for pickup combinations using a five-way selector switch and I thought it best to go over exactly how you guys can wire this up and you can figure out some of these schematics um, kind of on your own and, and, and make your own mods. Okay, a five-way selector switch, think of it as a tail of two sides. You've got the left side here shown in yellow and the right side kind of shown in gray. The lugs going from the top to the bottom tend to represent where you're going to put or connect specific pickups. So the top one I've indicated with B is obviously for the bridge, then middle, then neck, and then the common. And we'll talk about that common in a second. Now when you have your switch in the number five position, you're going to only get the neck pickup. You can see it's just going to come off of that third lug on the left hand side. Position four is going to be the middle and the neck, so you're going to have both of those coming. Position three, obviously just the middle pickup. Position two, middle and bridge. And finally, position one is just the bridge pickup by itself. So when you take a look, you again, you have going on the left-hand side, you start with the bridge on top, middle, neck, and that common that I referred to earlier is simply the output. So depending on where you have that selector switch, the output coming out of that C lug, or I sometimes refer to it as A4, um, that is going to be the output of that side of the switch. And typically you would run this wire to your volume pot or directly out to the output jack, depending on exactly what kind of mod you're running. Now when we talk about adding in tone controls, we've got two different options. We can do a single side tone, which is that we are going to run the tone controls off of the left side itself. So you can see here, I've got the tone control for the bridge coming off of the B lug, and I've got the tone control for the neck coming off of the N lug. In this case, the middle pickup would not have a tone control. Now this particular method may seem really simple, but it's not very expandable because I can't add the middle pickup in anywhere. Otherwise, the middle pickup will always be on whether I'm in position 2, 3, 1, or whatever. That middle pickup will always be connected to one of the other two pickups depending on how I jumpered it. Now some people prefer to use option B, which is to run a jumper wire from the bridge lug on the left side to the bridge lug on the right side in this case and run that to the tone control. Same thing shown here with the neck pickup. In effect we're doing the exact same thing as we did with the mod on the other side. It does give us a little bit more flexibility but we'll see a better way to do that just shortly. Now I said earlier that a switch is technically two sides. You have the left side and the right side. If we run a jumper between the two commons, so the bottom lug on the left side and the top on the right side, we will activate the second side of that switch. So you can see now I've changed it that both sides are yellow, meaning both sides are active on this switch. And now we can do some more creative wiring. And now that we've activated the right side of the switch, we can move our output wire to the top lug. Sometimes it's easier, it's a little bit more um, clean in order to wire it from there versus running it all the way from the bottom lug. Technically, you could come off of either. And so now what we're looking at is a standard stat control switch. So those of you who have strats and have opened them up, this is what you would typically see. You'd see obviously the left side is your input portion here. We have our jumper going to the right side top lug going to be obviously our output and then we've got tone control going to the middle and to the neck so this is our standard strat configuration now if we want to change the way those tone controls operate or which pickups they're controlling we've got a couple different options so if we look at one of my mods that's out here and it's the one with the neck in the middle sharing a tone pot and the bridge having an independent tone pot it's very simple to do now that we understand how this switch works we'll take the bridge lug on the right side and we will just run that to the tone pot for the bridge. We'll run a jumper between the middle and the neck, and then we'll run that out to the tone pot for those two particular pickups. Now, for those of you curious, it does not matter if I run my output to the tone pot from my neck lug or my middle lug in this case. Since they're jumpered, it won't matter. You can go to whichever one you want. Let's say instead we want to have our bridge and our middle pickups sharing a tone pot and our neck have an independent tone control. We would jumper between the bridge and the middle lugs on the right side and run an output wire to a tone pot. And we would leave our neck alone and go directly to a tone pot just by itself. And lastly, we can have the bridge and the neck combined and have the middle have an independent tone control. So 
We would jump her between the bridge and the neck, run that to a tone pot, and we would take the middle directly out to one by itself. And yes, although there technically is a better way to do it or an easier way to do it, you can have a master tone by simply jumpering all three on the right hand side and having one of those go out to a tone control. That will in effect give you a master tone for all of those uh, pickups. So now if you happen to have an import type switch in which all of the lugs are on one side or kind of in a row, you can see here the correlation between the two types of switches and understand the relationship. One being the bridge, two being the middle, three being the neck, four being that common. You can see how that works. You're jumpering and everything's going to work exactly the same on this switch. You just have to understand the numbering. Now one thing I've never understood is they actually have two different styles of switches, five-way switches, in which the lugs are slightly offset. So the one on the left is the more common. The one on the right works exactly the same way, except that the left-hand side lugs are lower than the right-hand side. Some people get confused by that. They work exactly the same way. They get wired up exactly the same way. Just for some reason, a particular manufacturer chose to move the lugs around. So there you go. Hopefully this was a very simple and easy way of understanding the five-way switch and the lug relationships from the left side of that to the right side. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do have any questions, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone, it's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.